guys, Bimmer here. Uh, so today's tutorial is kind of more of a showcase, and I'm going to be showcasing the fancy message class. I didn't make this class, but I did modify kind of my version of it. It's pretty much all his, except I just removed three functions and added one. Um, yeah, so this is an example of what you can do with it. So, if I just hover over these, you can see that it shows info. And it can be really good, like in this case, uh, slash MC infected admin has a bunch of different arguments and each argument has more arguments and it just gets kind of confusing. So with this, you can see everything and how it works, all nice. Now, another thing you can do with it is if you click it, it'll suggest something or you can make it so it types commands. And that can be pretty nice for having a menu like this. So let's dive in. Now the way you'd use this class is you'd have to import it. So you just right click your source, go import, grab the archive file, go browse, and just open up fancy messages. Now I will have this class in the description. I will have my version and the original version and links to both so you can compare or just download whichever one you want so now that you have the class in here uh, I'll just kinda open it up to show you guys so it uses a lot of reflection so that way you don't have to update it per version it's pretty nice um, the way you'd use that is you just go new fancy message and for now I'll just do that and let's import so the nice thing about fancy message is that it uses a building structure uh, so pretty much what that means is that you don't have to create an instance of it so normally you'd want to go fancy message message equals and you'd have something like this and then you'd go message dot and all that but with this class you don't need any of that all you have to do is just create a new one so in here is pretty much the prefix for the line. So I'll just type prefix. Now, being that I'm kind of lazy, I'm just going to add a color code. Now, this is how I add color codes. I just use this. And on Windows, this can be done by holding Alt, uh, having number lock on, and on the number pad, just typing or pressing all the numbers from 1 to 9. And then you just use the color codes. And then, uh, actually, just let's have a space afterwards. Uh, I can just go dot, then. And so this would be what follows that. And in here, I can have first. And yet again, I'm just going to put a color code in here. And I'll give it that. And bold. And if you really don't want to do that, or you're on Mac, and I have no clue if you can or can't do that on Mac, I'd imagine you can, but you can just go dot color and then chat color dot gold. And so you can just add colors that way as well. And if you want a tool tip, so if, and a tool tip is pretty much when you hover over these, it's what you see. I'm just going to go back to here because this looks nicer. So it's pretty much when you hover over this, it's the stuff that pops up. So the way you do that is you just go dot tool tip. And with my class, you can just pretty much put the title in. So I'll just go title. And then it uses a string array, which pretty much means you can just keep on giving it strings. So you can just keep on going like this. And there is no limit. And it works with even just one message there. But so if you want an empty line, like you just want to skip a line, like if you go here, you can see that I've skipped a few lines. Uh, you just want to have a space in there. If you don't have a space, then it's actually going to show the quotes, like the quotation marks. It's just kind of a bug, and I haven't really looked into it because you can just add a space and it works. So now I'll just type message, and then we'll have another space afterwards. So with his version, you'd have to do it a bit differently. Um, I'm not entirely sure on how his works again, because like I said, I changed mine a while ago. Um, but yeah, so now that you have all this, 
you'd want to send it to the player. So you can either send it to a list of players or just the individual player. Now sending it to the list of players is a lot better than having a loop and sending it to all the players. Because this way you're only creating one instance and you're sending it to all the players versus creating a new instance per player. And so what this will do is it'll send, here I'll just export and kind of show you guys. So let's reload. Slash fancy. And so you got your prefix and you got your first and tooltip. And you can even go dot suggest. And suggest will pretty much mean like it'll type it into their chat. So when I click here, what this is doing is it's suggesting this. Or when I click here, it's giving it as a command. So I can go like say hi. And pretty much what that'll do is when you click the message in the chat, it'll just pretty much give them that. Or if I wanted to go dot command and give it the slash, it would make it type slash say hi. So it would do that type of thing. Now there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. Like if I was just to go like this, you can even give it a link. So when you type it, it'll open up the prompt saying, do you want to click the link? If they haven't clicked uh, allow all. And so there's a bunch of other stuff you can do. So yeah, just play around with it, have fun. Uh, it's one of my favorite classes to use in one of my plugins. Or in pretty much all of my plugins, I guess. So yeah, see ya.